What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Westfall here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the power supply unit, sometimes abbreviated as PSU. Make sure you understand the differences between AC and DC before beginning this lab. Most houses are wired to supply around 120 volts AC to different appliances, including your PC. Here you can see me using the multimeter tool to read the AC voltage coming from the wall. The chips in your computer's motherboard, as well as all of the other internal components, need DC power in order to operate. The function of the PSU is to convert high voltage AC input into 3.3, 5, and 12 volt DC output that the computer can use. The AC power input is supplied to the PSU using a standard computer cable that plugs into the wall and then into the power supply. The DC output is supplied to various components using different connectors. I'm going to explain each in this video. First is the P1 power connector. It is a 20 or 24 pin connector that connects power supplies to the computer's motherboard. Most power supplies use an additional 4, 6 or 8 pin connector to supply extra power. Components such as the hard drive, floppy drive and optical drive use different connectors to supply power. The SATA power connector shown here is used to connect power to devices such as a hard drive. This is a Molex connector. It is a four pin connector used to supply power to older hard drives, but it's not often used anymore. This is a mini connector. It is used to supply power to the largely extinct floppy disk drive. When you look at the back of the power supply, you're gonna see a large fan. This keeps the components inside cool and prevents overheating. Remember to always use caution when working around electricity. Make sure that the power supply is unplugged before removing it for your lab. 